having a checkbox and having multifunctional output from it feels surreal. Although it's seeing a hype with the new addition of Excel checkbox feature, it existed before as well. We could access it from the developer tab and controls group which can be inconvenient due to its editing limitation and no cell value. To get multipurpose outputs from the cell values, we can use data validation to get true-false or yes-no. Excel 365 Insider version has merged these two features into checkbox feature. The beta version would help you to use it and check out the functionality. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmi from Excel Demi, your one-stop for Excel blog post, discussion forum, templates and VBA related answers. Here we have a data set with 6 students to get their attendance tracker based on 5 weekdays. In cell C5 to G10, we will insert checkboxes and check out the new checkbox feature in Excel. We will use Excel 365 for that. We wish it could be availed by any other available Excel versions as well. Now let's get down to the video. We want to insert checkboxes in C5 to G10. For trial, let's try on C5 to C10, go to Insert tab and from the Cell Controls group, click on Checkbox. In case you don't have your checkbox feature, you need to go to File tab. Here, go to Account Category. Now, if we go to About Excel, we can see that it shows the 365 version and build. Make sure you have at least version 2310 or later as well as build number 1969 24.2000 or later. In case you don't have it, you need to update it to the build version. Let's press OK and now click on the Microsoft 365 Insider drop-down. Let's go to Change Channel. Here you need to make sure that you have this button checked so that you can early access to new releases of Microsoft 365 apps. From the channel drop down, choose beta channel and press on I agree to the terms and condition. OK. In case you don't have the checkbox feature yet, you can go to update options and select update now. Excel will automatically download the version and install it within your Excel. Since we already have it installed, it's showing us that we are up to date. Now to access that, you need to close your Excel window and after a while, open it again to access the checkbox feature in Excel. As we have already discussed how to insert a checkbox, let's see how to work along with that. Now if we select it, we can see that within the formula bar it's showing us true and if we select it again, it's showing us false. Now if we select them like that, we can see that the cell values themselves show us true or false based on whether they are checked or not. Now we can copy the checkboxes for all the columns if we select all of them from C5 to C10 and use Ctrl C to copy and here as we select D5 to G5 press Ctrl V to paste and we can see all of them using the same orientation and same selection. Now let's try to keep the Monday and Tuesday column in the same orientation of selection and Wednesday Thursday as same. Now if we select C5 to C10 and press space, we can see that all the cells are selected. Now if we go for Wednesday, select an E5 to E10 and press space, we can see that all the cells are deselected. Now if we press on it again, all of them will be selected. If we select it again, they will be unselected again. Now the variation here is due to space key working according to the selected first cell. If the first cell is with check mark then all the cells within the selection will be unchecked upon using space. Now if the cell is unchecked all the cells will be checked no matter their previous selection. Now let's say we want to remove one of them. If we select D6 and press backspace we can see that it's removed. Now if we select D9 and press delete it's also removed but the checkbox is active. If we select it, it's enabled again. As for backspace, as we go to the cell, it gives us the same format. So even if the cell values are removed, the formatting remains since checkboxes are a combination of formatting and cell values. Now to remove them, let's click on Ctrl to select D5 and D9 
and from the home tab under the editing group click on clear drop down here choose clear all now we can see that there are no formatting available now apart from using clear all you can also copy a blank cell to another now selecting d9 let's press ctrl c and go to f6 and press ctrl v and we can see that the formatting is no longer available here as well now space key enables you another mode if you select f6 to f 10 and press space instead of changing the selection into check or uncheck the cell rather goes into editing mode since the first selected cells had no check boxes and into a default formatting let's press the escape button to remove the selection now if we select c5 to c10 and from the home tab under the font group choose a different font size Let's say from here, we can see that the checkboxes change their sizes accordingly. We can also change their colors from the font color. Let's try this one and we can see the font colors are changed. We can align them as well if we select F5 to F10 and from the alignment group, if we select top, middle or bottom alignment it goes along as well as left center or right aligned merge and center feature works for them as well if we select g5 to g6 and from the alignment group choose merge and center only upper left value will be shown and we can see the unchecked version which is the first selected cell the functionality includes sort and filter as well now if we select c5 to c10 and decrease the font size to 11 now let's uncheck some of them and note the unchecked names now if we select c5 to c10 and from the home tab under the editing group select sort and filter drop down choose sort smallest to largest let's go along with the current selection as we can see that unselected ones are sorted above as the selected ones are below now to check out the filter feature let's select f4 to f10 and from the home tab under editing group select sort and filter drop down to go along with filter and here if we select the drop down we can see that filters are based on blanks false true let's uncheck select all and select false and we can see only the unchecked values same goes for if you select two of them and we get blank and unchecked ones. So we can say that checkboxes are really amazing. Now let's try out some calculation based functionality. Now if we want to check whether we can use the outputs of the checkboxes as reference or cell values, we can try how many students are present here. Let's try count if function and select C5 to C10. Range is complete. As for criteria, it will be true. Tab closing parenthesis so count if will look for true within the cell ranges and get us the count number we should get three so we can see that there are three students present and if we want to get the total registered students for this specific day we can use count a function tap and select c5 to c10 closing parenthesis enter so we can see that six students are registered here now let's select both of them and use the fill handle to drag them till column G. So we get individual days, present number of students and total registered. Now if we want to know that how many students attended on Tuesday out of total students, let's try a formula using equals and Tuesday present students are D11. Let's use ampersand double quotation mark space out of space double quotation mark ampersand and d12 let's see how that checks out so we can see that four out of six students attended on tuesday if we select here we can see that it's immediately updated as five out of six now how about calculating percentage for wednesday let's say equals so wednesday present percentage is four now since total student is six we can use e12 as reference or we can directly type six enter in case you don't have the output as percentage you can go to home tab and under number group select this button to get the percentage output 
Apart from numbers, we can also get name. Let's try on cell E16. Let's type equal and use filter function. Here our array will be getting the student name. So B5 to B10 as array. Now it will include the checkboxes whether they are true or not. Now let's select G5 to G10 and it will automatically get whether the selected range is true or not. If empty, let's say double quotation mark so that we don't get any error. Enter. So we can see four students that are present on Friday. Now, if we want to get the name of absentees on Monday, let's try the same formula, rather a little bit changed. Array is the same, B5 to B10, include will be C5 to C10. Now, we need to get the false values who are not present, so equals false. Tap, if empty, double quotation mark, double quotation mark, enter. So, we can see that within Monday, John, Aaron and Charlie are absent. Now, in case we want the individual students' percentage of attendance, let's try equal, count if all of them, C5 to G5 as range and now criteria will be true, just as we discussed beforehand. Only difference is dividing it by 5 since there are 5 days enter. Now, let's use fill handle to drag it till Brian or 10th row. Now, as we have all the percentages selected, let's go to Home tab and under the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting drop-down. Here, let's go along with Data Bars and let's select this gradient field. And we can see that 80% has the highest data bar. Now, if we select Monday for John as present, we can see that the outputs for all the values here have changed, as well as our Conditional Formatting for percentages. Now, let's try conditional formatting in a different way. Let's select B5 to B10. Now, go to conditional formatting and let's select new rule. Let's place it here. Now, let's go along with use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here, let's say we want to get the cells formatted who were present in Monday. So, we need to type equals c5 make sure to use f4 key so that it's no longer absolute and for the format let's go along with fill tab and select this color as fill okay now we can see that monday has these four students as present if we uncheck that we can immediately see that conditional formatting removes the fill color now let's say we want to learn who were absent in friday Let's select B5 to B10 again. Go to Conditional Formatting drop down, New Rule. Now use a formula. Here we need to type equals G5. Use F4 key three times so that it's no longer absolute. Let's type false. Let's choose Format and go to Font tab. Select Strike Through. OK. OK. Now we can see that Friday has Lisa and Charlie as absent. If we select Brian, we can see that Brian was absent on Friday as well. Now, so many functionalities. We can use checkboxes to modify our charts in a better way. Let's see how to do that. As we can see, we have six students with three subjects of exam scores. Let's select C11 to E11 and from the insert tab, select checkbox so that we can get the checkboxes inserted. Now select the data set of B4 to E10, use Ctrl C to copy. Now select B13 to paste it using Ctrl V, use escape button. Now remove the cell values here. Now select C14 and type a formula if Logical test will be C11. Now, if we select C11, it will automatically consider logical test as whether C11 has the output as true or not. Now, value if true will be getting us all the values of C5 to C11. If value is false, which means if the checkbox is unselected, then we will have empty cells. Let's use double quotation mark, open and close for that. Enter. If we put a check mark on it, we can see that all the values for math are available here. Now, even if we select them all, 
it will not show us since the formula is not generated here. If we use fill handle to copy it till that, we can see all the values. Now let's deselect one of them and we can no longer see the values for that corresponding cells. Now let's put a check mark on it again. Now let's select B13 to E19 and from the insert tab and the charts group select column chart or we can press alter F1 key to get a chart. It will get us column chart by default. As we can see that math is showing us with blue color, English as orange and economics as green. Now let's remove the check here and we can see that English is no longer here. Selecting and deselecting these checkboxes ultimately change our chart ranges and the entire interface. Using this feature we can modify our visual just according to we wish. You can practice this with the help of the excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.